Let us consider two parallel plates, and these plates are initially uncharged. A dielectric is placed in between these two plates as shown here. Hence, these plates and dielectric form a parallel plate capacitor. Now connect this arrangement to a battery via a switch, as shown here. Let imagine, the green balls represent electrons, and red balls represent protons. The electrons and protons, shown for each plate are in no way representative of the actual numbers involved. They are shown to aid the explanation of the charging process that will take place when the switch is closed. On closing the switch, some electrons from right plate will be attracted to the positive terminal of the battery. In this case, since the right plate has lost electrons, it will acquire a positive charge. This positive plate induces a negative charge on the inner surface of left plate by attracting electrons in the plate towards this surface. Consequently, the outer surface of left plate must have a positive charge. This in turn will attract electrons from the negative terminal of the battery. Thus for every electron that is removed from left plate, one is transferred to right plate. The two plates will therefore become equally but oppositely charged. This charging process will not carry on indefinitely, in fact it will last for only a very short space of time. This is because as the charge on the plates increases so too does the voltage developed between them. Thus the charging process continues only until the potential difference between the plates is equal to the EMF of the battery. The charging current at this time will become zero because left and right plates are positive and negative respectively. Keep serving electrical for you.com.